Beaver here, got a, a few more rats here. And we're gonna talk a little bit about stuff here. And as I skin these rats up, I wanted to talk about one day, I guess back in 1969, I was a young lad and uh, mom and dad had a, um, a little business. They uh, had a marina, well, just a small one down by the lake. They had a few boats and water, a few campers, year on campers, and uh, they trapped, of course. And my dad went out and was fortunate to catch a couple uh, lynx back in uh, the pipeline. And lynx back then were, were big money, so we, we were very fortunate. And uh, he, he used to put the lynx because they were expensive fur to keep the the mice from getting at him. He used to put them uh, down underneath with the souvenirs. So that was sealed and uh, you didn't want the mice eating the, the hides. Cause we had mice back then, the, an old, old building. So my sisters were chasing me around and I went and hid underneath there with the pelts. They were already dried, but they are full of ticks. And the ticks went on my head. So I went up for supper. I think we were having uh, meatballs and, and spaghetti. So Aunt Maud was there and said, you look pretty itchy. And she started looking through my scalp and I had seven ticks embedded into my uh, scalp. So, What we did, we got it, uh, she got some Javix out and she started pulling, uh, slowly pulling out each tick one at a time out of my scalp, which was pretty uncomfortable at that age, pretty freaky. Uh, back then, uh, I don't think they worried about uh, uh, lime poisoning, whatever they have now with, with the ticks. I think it was just if you get sick, you, you, you basically take your chances, and that's what that's how it was back then. Um, we got them out, and then we went, I went back, finished my supper. That was pretty interesting. All right, we're gonna we're just doing around the head of this little guy here. You like to do a good job with your fur. And there's one pelt. You can see very nice skin. All right, we'll get her over here with these two rats here. I'm gonna show you uh, something uh, that works really good for fluffing. Up. You can see that here. That's the beam. What I do is I put the muskrat on. This is a fluffing beam. I sell these at the fur harvester. You can get all the stuff. From the fur harvesters, they're online. And uh, basically, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to grab my Zeph, I'll give it a cleaning. There's my Zeph right here. Best tool for trapping by a mile. I just straddle this like this, and you can see you don't press hard. But it, with muskrat, you can leave a bit of fat on. It's not the end of the world. Just take most of it off. Leave the saddles on. Okay. And then you just turn it. Like so. I didn't show this on my last video, so that's why I'm doing another video. Just show, make it as easy as possible. Muskrat are only like four dollars now, roughly. So you basically want to make it easy and as fast as possible. There you go. So I could do a muskrat roughly in five minutes if I'm not talking. Uh, here we go, we'll just do it on there. You don't press hard, you want to make holes. Uh, you, you don't want a slight damage, you want a clean skin. There we go. Put more around here.
Okay. Now you grab, I like the wire stretchers. Here's a wire stretcher. And you put the muskrat on the stretcher, like so. Make sure it's centered. I'm also a muskrat creator at North Bay Fur Cells. So, a little bit of trimming to do there, but I'll get that in a second. You basically center it. Put your clip in. Make sure you get your full length. And we'll cut this off here. And that's basically the muskrat. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, make sure you take care of your family. And uh, have a great day on the Beaver Pumper. Bye for now.